Welcome to Freaking Video Games, ladies and gentlemen, with yours truly, Bomby Tsunami. This week we're looking at one of my favorite fighting games of all time, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom Ultimate All-Stars for the Nintendo Wii. Originally released in Japan back in 2008 for arcades and the Wii as Tatsunoko vs. Capcom Cross Generation of Heroes, TVC is a colorful and vibrant fighting game from renowned fighting game creator, guess, Capcom. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom features characters from various Capcom video games like Mega Man, Lost Planet, Onimusha, Street Fighter, and rival schools squared up against anime characters from Tatsunoko Productions, an anime company best known from Macross, Tekamen, Samurai Pizza Cats, Speed Racer, and Science Ninja Team Gatchaman, known as G-Force in the West. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom plays a lot like other Capcom vs. games by pitting multiple characters against one another in 2 vs. 2 combat. The simplistic controls make it super easy for anyone to get into, but at the same time, it's deep enough to gain the interest and keep veteran fighting game players playing the game. Like any fighting game, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom has setups that are familiar to those who enjoy fighters. You have arcade, training, online, time attack, and a shop where you can use points gained from matches to purchase information and ultimate colors for your characters. In battle, things can get a bit hectic as you switch between characters mid-fight by tagging them in. If you don't want to switch, you can summon your partner for an assist attack instead. If you're caught in a combo, you can use the Baroque system to break the combo at the, at the cost of some of your life bar. No fighting game will be complete without some form of super attack. Not only can you perform a super, but you can also call on your partner to perform their own special attack at the same time causing some serious damage. The only time you don't have a partner in TVC is when you play as one of the giant characters. In lieu of having a partner as a giant, you get more health and higher damage output, balancing out the lack of a partner and having to go against smaller opponents. The fun part is the origin of the giants. Capcom's PT PTX-40A hails from Lost Planet, while Tatsunoko's giant is Gold Lighten, literally a lighter that turns into a giant robot. Both are very fun to play as and against. Now, on a personal note, I remember being super excited about TVC when it was first released in Japan. So much so that I ended up importing the Japanese version thinking to myself that we would never see an English version of the game. Imagine my surprise and hype when it was announced to be coming to America. I picked it up once again and that marks one of three times that I've bought two copies of the game. Though to be honest, the two aren't exactly the same. Ultimate All-Stars differs from Cross Generation of Heroes in a few areas. All-Stars has a few more characters and online play, while Cross Generation lacks in those areas, allowing, allowing those with a few balance issues. All-Stars is the better version. I remember initially feeling really happy that this was a Wii exclusive. As an older, wiser gamer, I feel like I was mistaken at the time. TVC being exclusive may have been great at the time, but how niche the Wii was and how the larger fighting game community pretty much ignored the title. And with Nintendo recently ending their online for the Wii, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom was basically forced to die of the system. Even with that, TV TVC is still a great game to play with your friends, and is one I definitely suggest that Wii and Wii U owners pick up if they have an opportunity to. Thank you for listening. And this is freaking video games.